Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda. In case you didn't know, I'm Linda. Hi! Today, my friends, we're coming down to it. Today, it's day 23. It is the 23rd day of December, and Christmas is like in two days. Oh my God. I can't wait. So let's see what our Fornum and Mason has in store for us today on this 23rd day of December. Okay, so today is gin and tonic oddity. <laughs> A gin and tonic tea. Okay. Um, okay, so this is interesting. It smells really good. Um, it's got... I don't think those are blueberries. I think those are juniper berries. Um... It looks like this might be a green tea as well. It's it's actually kind of interesting, actually. Um, it's got like three juniper berries in it. Let's pop it in the glass and let's see what it says. Gin and tonic oddity. That's interesting. Uh, a refreshing green tea inspired by Fordham's classic gin and tonic made with juniper berries and a finishing twist of lime zest. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got juniper berries right at least. They weren't squishy like blueberries. Uh, our ingredients are 53% green tea, licorice root. They have a lot of licorice root in their teas, don't they? Uh, juniper berries, which is 11%, sweet back blackberry leaves, gin flavoring, 5%, Coriander seed, lime peel, 3%, tonic flavoring, 3%, angelica root, bergamot flavoring. Uh, to brew, we uh, brew three to five, best served without milk. Hmm. So I'm not a real big licorice fan, but I must tell you with all of the teas that this particular uh, advent calendar has had that has licorice root in it, I might be changing my mind. All right. Hey Siri, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, counting down. All right. This is your first time at the channel. Thanks so much for coming by and seeing what our Advent series has in store for us. If you have come back by to see what today's tea is from the Fordham and Mason advent calendar. Thank you so much for coming back by. I appreciate it greatly. Um, it means quite a lot to me that this close to Christmas, you have decided to spend eight to 12 minutes of your time with me. So thank you so very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will say right off the bat that I've only had a gin and tonic once in my life and I did not care for it. Um, I was much younger and didn't appreciate, uh, you know, good alcohols at that point. I was more of a beer person, um, but I still haven't had one. So I don't really know what I'm going to base this on as far as the taste goes, since I am not that familiar with it. Um, but let's see. We'll see what it is. <laughs> Hey Siri, stop timer. All right. So this is plumped up interestingly in this tea bag. Um, the the tea leaves actually the tea leaves look pretty pretty cool. Um, the smell that I'm getting is kind of I, I don't know. It's kind of odd. It smells like an alcohol smell, honestly. Um, 
the color is oh my god please drink more water while you go to the med lodge it is quite yellow uh it does have a little bit of a green hue as the light refracts in the cup uh it is clear uh there's a little bit of particulate uh, but not too much i really don't know how to describe the smell other than it smells fresh and like alcohol so i i don't quite know what that means at least for me it is a very interesting tasting tea this is kind of reminiscent of what i think the gin tasted like I'm quite enjoying that actually. That's, um, I don't know if it is the juniper that is giving it that taste that is so interesting. It's, it almost tastes effervescent, even though I know that it's not. Um, and it has a, a really crisp taste to it, but it's still an earthy taste. Um, is really interesting I'm I'm I don't know what to say I'm wow yeah absolutely that's a winner I'm I'm gonna keep this tag I'm gonna have to get me some more of this um, that's that's quite yummy wow that is absolutely quite yummy I am I am really enjoying that uh, there is a lot of particulate in here. And as my father drives by on the four wheeler, the dogs will start to bark. Alrighty, well, thanks so much for coming by and having a couple with me today. Um, I really do appreciate your time, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Bye. enjoy the content today? I really hope so. If you did, think about subscribing. That would really help me out.